hello guys and welcome back to my channel today i thought i would kind of do a video like a chatty video and i know i'm going to get to know me but i want to do a video on the 50 questions nobody really asks you because obviously it might not be relevant or just people don't really talk about it so i'll go to the questions i've got to the questions on my phone so i'm just going to have a little look at that just i know what the questions are so the first question is what's your favorite candle scent so i kind of go for like the cotton scent like the clean scents i don't like anything that's kind of too overpowering because it kind of gives me a headache i'm like no thank you i just want something that's calming relaxing and just like cottony <laughs> that's a word um i really like uh, white company scents so I think they're really like clean smells and not too strong. So yeah. What female celebrity do you wish your do you wish was your sister? Mm, that's a weird one. Do you know who I'd really like? And this might not be like everyone's cup of tea, but Cheryl, so like Cheryl Carl. Because she has had like such um, I was reading her book a while ago and she's had such a tough upbringing but the way she's turned her life around is like so amazing like she's so successful now and what she had to deal with when she was younger it's like I love her to be my sister because you know and get some advice from her on how she done it kind of thing and what she does so yeah what male celebrity do you wish was your brother do you know what? I'd love like a comedian to be my brother because like someone like David Wiley, I mean, like I've been watching him on the Britain's Got Talent and um, like the auditions on YouTube and he is so funny, like absolutely hilarious. So someone like David Williams to be my brother. How old do you think you'll be when you get married? So I'm 21 now. Probably like I kind of want to be married at like late 20s, early 30s. So, yeah, but you know, you never know. Um, do you know someone who is a hoarder? Yes. And that person is myself. I have to keep everything. So I'll have to keep a top in case there's an occasion that comes up where I have, where I need to wear that top, even though I haven't worn it in about five years. Um, something like shoes because I might need that or a book or something like that I absolutely hoard just because I might need it even though I haven't used it in like five years so myself <laughs> can you do the splits no I can't I'm actually that flexible but I never used to be able to do it when I was younger either so some things never change how old were you when you learned to ride a bike probably about five or six so basically there was a park near us my nana and used to take and um, me over there quite a lot to learn how to ride the bike and yeah so it was like when I was about five or six and it was down this hill so I used to do the flat bits like the flat pavement but I really went to like go down the hill and then I just done it so I was like yes and then there was no stabilizer so yeah how many oceans have you swum in no how many countries have I visited so I visited Spain Turkey Egypt, France, Ireland and America. Six. Is anyone in your family in the army? No, they're not. But my great granddad used to be in the army. Um like the World War One. He used to um be there and my auntie's husband used to be in the army as well. What would you name your daughter if you had one? I don't actually know I like I really like the name Lydia, Olivia or Isla, something like that. Just really lovely names. Um, what would you name your son if you had one? Probably like something like Oliver, I like that name, I've always liked that name. Or Luke, I like that name. Or Charlie, it's like traditional. What's the worst grade you've got on a test? Oh, probably an E, I've got an E in maths. <laughs> Love that for me, can't do maths. Um, What's your favourite TV show as a kid? Oh, so basically, when I was younger, I used to spend like, quite a lot of time with my nan because uh, my mum used to go to work, so I used to 
not watch a lot of TV, but when I did, I used to watch the Teletubbies. And fun fact, every time, you know when this, like, I don't know if any woman know this or watch Teletubbies, when the sun went down, I used to cry. Even though it was going to be on the next day, I used to just cry. And tweenies, absolutely love tweenies. But I had, like, such an obsession with it. I wanted to call my brother now Milo. So, yeah, you know that purple character. I'll put it on the screen. Um, what did you dress up on as Halloween when you were eight? Oh, I remember. So basically we had like a primary school disco, like every time we do like Halloween thing. And then I always used to dress up as a witch because I don't know why, I just it's easy, isn't it? Like a witch's dress, a witch's hat and a, like a broom. Um have you read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games or Twilight series? I haven't read Harry Potter. Um but I've read Twilight because it was everyone's kind of obsession and that's kind of like I really want to watch and I really want to read Twilight now, so Twilight. Um, would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? An American accent, because I have a British accent, so an American. Um, did your mother go to university? No, she didn't. Um, and I have never been to university either. Are your grandparents on mine? Um, yes. Like, one says, but like, my nan sadly passed away, um, just before their gold anniversary. So, um, yeah. Um, have you ever taken class lessons? Yes, I took one, but I took someone else seven and then I kind of quit because I got a bit bored and then I took someone again when I was like 14 and then I quit again. So yeah, don't think I really enjoyed it. Um, do you know who Kermit the Frog is? Of course. The memes are like everywhere still, so yes. Simple Matty. Um, what's the first amusement park you've ever been to? Chesington. Wherever it is, I love that place still. What language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? Spanish. I go to Spain every year and I have picked up some things, but like I can't have a full conversation with somebody in Spanish, so I'd love to speak Spanish. So, yeah. Do you spell the colour as grey or grey? Just G R E Y. Is your father bold? Yes, he is. <laughs> Do you know chiclets? No, no. Do you prefer the Titanic or the Notebook? Mm. Do you know what? I prefer the Titanic because I absolutely used to love Leonardo DiCaprio. So yeah. Have you ever had Indian food? Yes. I had um, an Indian takeaway on Friday as well. So yeah. Uh, what's the name of your favourite restaurant? I love Nando's. But that's so what? Like that is so cliche. Or... Teachers I love teacher fries, especially like the pasta. Um, have you ever been to Nando's? Yes. Um, do you belong to any warehouse stores? Nope. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? Jack. My mum always used to have that, like, or oh, if you were like the opposite gender, I'd have named you Jack. So, yeah. If you have a nickname, what is it? Ames. Ames, yeah. What's your, who's your favourite person in the world? My mum because I absolutely love her and my friends but like obviously my friends like they're so amazing so supportive and that so yeah would you rather live in the countryside or the city oh that's a tough question countryside or the city I love like living in a city I don't live too far away from London so I love like the buzz of it it's really busy in London like all the time and I absolutely love the buzz of it but then countryside because it's quite peaceful and it's lovely probably just Probably the city because I'd get bored probably the countryside if there's not much to do. So yeah. Can you whistle? Yes. <laughs> do you sleep with the night light? No, I don't. I actually love pitch black room. So yeah. Do you eat breakfast every morning? Yes. Um it's kind of helping me lose weight at the moment as well. Um, because you meant to have like your three meals and anything. And I usually go Fruit, or granola, fruit and granola and yoghurt or co um, chocolate or croissants if I'm being a bit healthy. Do you take any pills and medication? Yes, I have my epilepsy tablet I have to take twice a day and I'm not on the pill because it really messes with my seizures. So yeah, fun fact. What medical conditions do you have for epilepsy? And on my old blog, I do have like a blog post so I'll link it below. How many times have you been to hospital? Four times. No, five times. 
So twice for my um, seizures, twice for sprains, I've got a lot more than twice actually, um, and some for my stomach pains, and I do have another blog post on that, so yeah. Um, have you ever seen Finding Nemo? Yes, I have, I love that film. Where do you buy your jeans? Either New Look or Topshop, because I love their journey jeans. What's the last compliment you've received? Oh, like basically, I put an Instagram story, um, Instagram post up in a new dress, and everyone's like, "I love your dress." And I was like, "Oh, thank you." So yeah. Do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? It depends on what dream it is. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. What flavour tea do you enjoy? I don't really enjoy flavour tea. I just like good old PG tips. <laughs> How many pair of shoes do you currently own? About four or five. So yeah. Uh, what really joys you raise your child up to practice? See, I wouldn't because I'd want, want my child to have the choice in what they want. Like I've been christened, I don't practice the Chris, Chris, Christianity. But if my child wanted to or wanted to practice another religion, I wouldn't stop them from doing so. So yeah. How old were you when you found out the Santa wasn't real? What? <laughs> no. Um about 10 9 or 10 but i don't remember how i found out so yeah <laughs> and then the last question is why do you have a youtube channel because i absolutely love editing as i said in my previous video i love putting out content i love getting to know people and just kind of having a platform where i can speak about everything i want to speak about so yeah that's why i love having a youtube channel it's just every day is different so yeah everyone anyway I hope you have enjoyed this video, if you have, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in my next video.